guys, welcome back and welcome to the first kind of video of the installment of my Arttober journey, I guess you could say. Basically, I'm doing Inktober, but I'm doing it in any sort of art form that I want. So today I'm going to be showing you like the process of the pieces that I did for the first three or four days. I can't recall how many are actually in this video. But for October 1st, I did my normal creative kind of mood board type of thing that I've been doing since August for every month that I absolutely love. It was start kind of started as a trend on Instagram by Katie K Oh, I can't remember her Instagram, but I will link her Instagram below. Her name is Katie, and I love her account, and she kind of started this whole kind of mood board trend, and since August, I've been creating one for every month, and it's been so much fun. So mine was just based off of kind of like a Halloween meets fall vibe, but in my normal bright, happy colors, because I'm not a fall person. I know, crazy, but yeah. Then for day two, I worked on some pumpkins. So as you can see, I already had this sketch base down and I'm kind of showing you the process of the time lapse that was done because I didn't actually film the process. But um, this was done in a sketch on the first video and then I kind of brought the sketch to a new canvas and actually like turned it into something. That's kind of my process is I sketch in a canvas, have all my ideas in one spot, and then I will kind of copy and paste the little sketches into a new canvas and turn them into an actual piece of some sort. So I actually did that one into two pieces. I did the kind of fall pumpkin like look and then I went with the original donut pumpkin look. So as I'm not a spooky Halloween fan, I decided okay, I'm gonna like make painted pumpkins and I'm gonna make them look like donuts because I saw them on Pinterest. And I thought that was a really cute way to decorate a pumpkin, so that is what I did. I used various different brushes, I don't remember all of them, but lately my favorite brush sets on Procreate are ones that I recently purchased from Design Cuts in a sale that they had. And the three different packs that I have been using most often are called the Storybook Studio, the Drawing Box, and the Color Pencil Studio. All of them are great. I absolutely love them. And the drawing box is actually like my last moment purchase. Like I wasn't sure about it. And I went ahead and bought it and it's actually probably turned into being my favorite. The pencils in it are amazing. And there's like a replication of normal colored pencils and waxy Prismacolor pencils. And I just kind of love it. So there is that. I will link them down below if you're interested in learning about the brush packs because I think they're really cool. Um, at this point in the time lapse, I'm kind of just playing with the saturation of the colors because I felt like I was being myself and making them too light, but you know, I did go ahead and put them down. Um, and then the other piece that I'm sharing today is the behind the scenes of my taco day graphic. And I wasn't 100% sure what I was doing with this, but I did kind of sketch out an idea. It says it's taco day and it has a taco in the middle. Now, I will say that this piece I actually did over the course of a few days. So that's the other thing for my October is like, if I don't finish a piece in one day, long as I finish it, like that's the main goal here. So that is what I did. Also, I worked a little bit ahead in this so I would have the videos done for you guys. So I actually started this at the end of September right when Procreate was doing the update. So the footage on this one is a little different and when we get to the time lapse portion of the video you'll see that it left out some parts because that's like when I did the update and for some reason it lost a part of the process even though the process was there. Also I'm not used to filming what I'm drawing when I'm drawing it where you can actually see my hand so that was different. But um, for this, I tend to sketch in a dark blue just because I have an issue with black line work. I absolutely love black line work, but it just wasn't the overall feeling of the type of art that in my head that I wanted to create. So I've kind of veered away from using black and I use blue now instead. I don't know why. It's kind of weird, I suppose. But yeah. Um. Also in this piece, I'm doing lettering, which I... I'm not confident in lettering. I don't feel like I'm good at it. And I know it's just a matter of practice and personal preference. And I have found that the brush that I use totally changes how I feel about it. So lately, and in this exact piece, I have been using, uh, where's the brush? It's called Roll Soft, and it was a freebie that I downloaded. Sadly, I think it was before Procreate gave the um, 
like brush like who made the brush information on it so it doesn't actually tell me I could possibly search for it on my computer if you guys really want to know but it's basically a flat brush that has a bit of a texture in it and I love it so much for lettering because I feel like I can do the letters use the little like straight aligning tool to make sure that the straight lines are straight and then you guys will see later on is that instead of leaving those letters I actually go trace around the letters and that's what actually creates the lettering and then I fill them in like with a colored pencil like texture so they have a bit of a grainy look to them because I'm really into that sort of colored pencil vibe which is odd because I never thought that I would be the person that was into colored pencils but since August I've actually have real colored pencils that I like using and it, it's just it's all new to me it's so weird but yeah this process for lettering has really been helpful for me and I feel like it's going to help me venture into more lettering in the future um here is the time lapse so you guys are going to see at a much quicker rate of what we just did and of course part of it cut out because of the update in the middle of it but yeah it came together pretty quickly although I will say that at the end of this you'll see or maybe it didn't capture it there were lots of like glitches and you guys couldn't see how I made the pattern because of the update and I had a really hard time lettering it but I've been in touch with Procreate and they should be coming out with a fix for that soon basically it was a layer limitation issue so hopefully that is fixed soon but yeah I think that covers it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the process of the first so many days. Um, upcoming this week, I'm actually going to do a full like full length draw with me, I think, possibly. We will see. It's definitely going to be a longer video, but I'm really excited about it. So yeah, we'll look forward to that. And also be sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm actually going to be posting my art there daily. Not necessarily daily on Instagram, but I will be posting art sporadically on Instagram throughout the month. So yeah, I think that covers everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye!